Hi there and welcome to lesson four. In this lesson, we're going to look at conditions. So Protobuy has the ability to create conditions and this is a really powerful feature. This is not something you're gonna find in software such as Sketch or Figma. And you can think of conditions as decisions. So when you decide that you want your UI to work in a particular way, you can basically create a set of conditions within Protopy so you can do that. So to illustrate um, conditions, we're going to build this toggle button here, um, also known as a switch. And we're going to control our smiley character, our curious smiley character is back. And we're going to do something to the smiley character just to kind of show that our, our switch is working. So we need to use conditions for switches because they're toggling between two different states. There's an on state and an off state. And I've also just already imported these graphics exactly as I did before. So if you want to see importing, go back and watch the first video. But effectively, I've got my two SVG graphics wrapped into a group. OK, so let's get on with creating this interaction. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want the switch to react when I hit the, the thumb graphic. So I'm going to select my thumb graphic in the layers list. I'm going to come over to my triggers and I'm going to add a tap trigger. OK, so I can now have access to my response panel and you can see at the bottom of the response panel, I have this condition option. So I'm going to choose that and that gives me the condition properties panel. So you can see here that I've got a few options. So I've got my target. So in this case, it's going to be when I tap the thumb. Um, I actually want to use the position of the thumb as the condition to trigger my other responses. So, and because the thumb is going to move on the X axis, that's the property I'm going to use. You can see as before, we have access to a lot of properties and you can, you can connect conditions to, to any kind of property that you want to. But in this case, it's going to be when the X of the thumb changes. And we're going to look for a particular value. So you can see in this line here, I've got a bunch of strange looking characters. Um, all of these, if you roll over, will give you um, a little thumb, a little um, tool tip of what they actually mean. Um, slightly mathematical, but um, I've got my equal sign, which is obviously a comparison. So that's, that's, that's pretty simple to understand. I've got if the value is greater than, greater than, equal to, less than less than or equal to, and finally not equal to. So there's lots of options, lots of different kinds of conditions you can do. Equals is probably the simplest one. So I'm going to, in this first condition, look for when the X value of my thumb is equal to two. That's effectively its starting position, okay? And if it's equal to two, meaning if it's in the start position, I'm going to move it to its next position. So it's basically the condition is saying, if you're in this starting position, do these actions after. So to move the thumb to the, the on position, it's going to be moving to by 50 pixels, actually going to be moved to 50 pixels. So I'm going to select my move response and I'm going to type 50 into the X value. Okay, and what I'm also going to do, I'm going to add another rotate to my curious smiley character. Um, so let's just add a rotate here so we can see it's actually worked. I'm going to choose my smiley SVG inside of the group. And I'm going to rotate it to this time. I'm going to use the rotate to, I'm going to make him go upside down, teach him some tricks. So 180 degrees and he's going to rotate clockwise. Okay, so my first condition is I'm gonna tap my, my little thumb and it's gonna hit this condition. It's gonna say, hey, if the thumb's X position equals to two, run these actions. And it's going to move my thumb to the next position and it's gonna rotate my, my smiley character 180 degrees. Okay, so that's the first condition. I'm actually going to, well, there's two things I could do here. I could duplicate the condition um, or I could create it all from scratch. So we're going to duplicate it. We're going to press Command D or Control D if you're using Windows, and that's going to create my whole. That's going to duplicate my whole condition and also the responses within. Okay, so I can go into this second condition and I can effectively reverse the values. So 
everything else will stay pretty much the same. So I'm looking for my thumbs X position. And this time I want to see if it's equal to 50, which means is it in the on position? And if it is, I want to move it back to two, which is its start position. And I'm going to rotate my smiley character to zero. And I'm also going to change the direction because I want it to go in the reverse direction. So it's got that physics continuity. Okay, and that's all I should need to do. Let me just double check because I do tend to get my targets wrong sometimes. So I'm tapping the thumb. The first condition is going to say, is the thumbs X equal to two? If that's true, it's going to move my thumb to position um, X of 50. And it's going to rotate my smiley character 100 to 180. And it's going to rotate that on the clockwise. If my condition, however, the X of the thumb graphic equals to 50, it's going to move that thumb back to two. So from, from the on to the off position, and it's going to rotate my smiley character back to the beginning. Okay, so let's give it a tap and see what happens. So we can see we've turned my switch onto the toggle position and Smiley's gone upside down. And if we hit it again, we can see that it's it knows it was in the in the on position, it's moved back to the off position. So there you go, a great example of how you can use the power of conditions to create some pretty um, amazing interactions without no code again, and pretty easy to set up, took, took all of five minutes to set up. So this, be, this brings us to the end of this lesson, looking at conditions, there's so much more you can do with it. Uh, hopefully we'll see you in the next lesson.